What's up guys, it's Eric, and today we're going to talk about music. Sorry for not having a video last week, I was sick, and still kind of am sick, but that means this week you're going to get two videos. There's going to be this one today and a new one tomorrow. But yeah, like I said, today we're going to talk about music and just everything kind of about it. And first off, I just kind of want to talk about the music I like. I love pop, top 40 stuff. I'm into a lot of indie stuff. There's this one band called Royal Teeth. They have the best music. I discovered them last year, and I recently just got into them again. And I'll put a link to all their stuff down below so you can check them out and let me know what you think. And I'm um, not really into rap that much. I'll listen to an occasional album, like Kendrick's new album is so good. So good. Not really into rock. I'll listen to some stuff here and there. Um... Country is okay. Like, again, not a huge fan, but I'll listen to it. My brother loves it, so I'll listen to it. But going off that, I just kind of want to talk about judging people based on their music tastes, and it's so stupid, and you shouldn't do that. Like, it doesn't matter what they like. Like, how's it going to affect you that this person likes country, or this person likes heavy metal, or this person loves Kids Bop 27? Just kidding. Do not love Kids Bop 27. Do not love any Kids Bop. Kids Bop and Nickelback are the two things you're not allowed to like. Just kidding. Like whatever you want and just honestly don't judge people based on that because it's kind of just rude and it's like judging someone based on the clothes they're wearing or anything like that. It has no effect on you at all and just what they like. I also want to talk about what music means to me and to you guys. So yeah, um, to me music is kind of my escape from everything, like, I can leave this world, it's going to go to another world and just forget all my problems and just lay down or stand up and dance to music and just kind of helps me forget about everything else and for that little amount of time, I'm just in the music, listening to that music. And it's not even, it has to be when you're sad, you can escape just like when you're happy. You just put on that music and you just want to dance and have a dance party and it just... Music to me is just everything, like, honestly, it's just a way to live a different life, kind of, like, go to another place. And I tweeted out asking you guys what music meant to you, and I also texted some people, so I'm going to read what they said and kind of talk about it. Missy said, music is life no matter what you are going through. At any given time, you can always find a song that will help you through it, and I completely agree, no matter what you are going through, you can always find that song. I mean, to me, my go-to song for anything going through is Skyscraper by Demi Lovato uh, or Warrior by her. She's my favorite, and those songs, honestly, are just amazing. I recommend you guys check them out, but just find a song that just kind of speaks to you, and it'll help you get through that. Kristen from Twitter said, music means probably everything to her. She couldn't imagine a day where she, couldn't, where she didn't listen to anything. And I completely agree, not a single day goes by where I don't listen to music. I almost listen to stuff, different stuff every day, like today. I've been listening to a lot of Big Time Rush, and I know you guys are probably like, oh my god, Big Time Rush, but no. They are my everything, or were my everything. They broke up, but I love them so much. And then Gail said, music to her is an easy escape to her ideal and perfect world. And like I said before, just it's kind of that way just to leave and go to be whoever you want to be or wherever you want to be. And then Kara said that music means the world to her. It has the power to instantly change her mood. I don't know, she doesn't know where she'd be without her favorite artists and band. And I agree. There's always, if no matter what you're, no matter how sad you are, there's always that song or band you can put on where it's just like, oh shit, here we go. This is my jam. Just like, I'm ever feeling down. I turn on Partition and I am immediately pretending I am Beyonce in that video and I'm doing dances that I cannot even show you because that's how bad it looks. But that song can make me happy no matter what. And everyone has that song or band or whatever that they just put on and it can just change your mood. And then Megan, who has a YouTube page, you guys, she does cover videos and she's a really good singer and I'll put the link down below as well. So you guys should go check her out and subscribe to her. She says, Music makes up everything she is and that she will become. It's her safe place, her stage, and her best friend. A world without music is a world with no soul, and what's the beauty in that? And that makes perfect sense to me. It's just kind of like music. 
is everywhere. It's kind of a universal language. You can go to anywhere around the country and they have their music. It's kind of a way to bring people together. You don't speak the same language, it's okay. I don't know how many people I know who love Hispanic music but don't speak Spanish. It's just music from anywhere can just bring people together and it's just, I love it. So yeah, that's kind of what I want to talk about with music, just kind of its importance and like, I shouldn't judge people based on music. Um, now I'm going to talk about my two favorite things that I'm kind of in love with. I'm not going to do two things I don't like anymore because it's kind of negative and I don't want that negative kind of vibe on my channel. So the first thing I am in love with this week is, well not this week, kind of on March 3rd I went to the Ariana Grande concert. Amazing. And on March 9th I went to the Pentatonix concert who are my like all time favorite group and they're so good live and just honestly hearing the acapella just live and everything every every pitch that came out of their mouth was flawless and just honestly was the best concert I've ever been to and the second thing that I loved this week was Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt it's on uh, it's an original series on Netflix and it is possibly the funniest show I've ever watched. I binge watched it in one day. It's only 13 episodes, but oh my god, it's so funny. You guys should all check it out. I'm not going to put a link to that below because I believe you guys all know how to go to Netflix. But yeah, thanks for watching this week. And tune in for another video, new video tomorrow. And make sure to like and subscribe and comment. And thanks for watching. Bye.